There's a little bit of March Madness happening right now here in Kansas City. We're talking about the NAIA Basketball Championship game. It's in just a couple of hours downtown. And today, for the first time ever, one Iowa team made it to the final game. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post live for us tonight. And Belinda, that team features two players from right here in the Metro. In a few hours, the auditorium behind me is going to be filled with new Blue Jacket fans from right here in Kansas City. And here's why. Graceland University actually has two graduates of Metro Universities, one from Liberty, the other from Raytown, playing on their team. And tonight, they've got a shot at a national title. This 6'3 shooting guard is from Kansas City. Will Nelson, a graduate of Raytown High School. Nelson says his team knew they would make it this far. He had conditioning called plyo workouts, and we would, we would dream about moments like this. Monday, that dream was nearly cut short for Graceland University. At the half, they trailed Shreveport by 13. That's when Nelson and others stepped the game up. And after playing one of the worst halves of his career, turn around and play one of the best halves. Nelson came back strong. He scored 22 points and had five rebounds. Graceland was a five seed going in. It's a miracle Nelson and Nick Coleman, who graduated from Liberty North, are making it to the final game in their hometown. I know my high school and my teachers are like giving me shout outs on Twitter and really wishing us uh, good luck. About 40,000 people go to the NAIA games. This week means just over two and a half million dollars for KC businesses. On average, visitors stay in hotels four nights. I think their entire town, Lamoni was here last night. The championship game kicks off here tonight at 7, a tradition that's been in Kansas City now 73 years. We knew that we had a chance to do this, even though we were the underdogs and a lot of people doubted us. Hopefully we have a lot of family, a lot of alumni from Raytown as well, so hopefully see a lot of familiar faces tonight. So we know that this tournament will actually be held right here in Kansas City until at least 2020. That's when Kansas City will rebid to keep it here against some other cities. Reporting live in downtown, Belinda Post, 41 Action News. Belinda, thank you. We did check. There are still some tickets available for tonight's game. Take a look. Prices start at just 20 bucks for adults. This could be really fun to take the kids to because kids 12 and under are six. And then if your kids are four and under, they get in free.